Not a feature for sure. Let's go. Yeah, I was building on the lecture. Versus coming daily under pressure. Before their eighth game of the season, the Thunderbirds arrive in one of the best sports cities in North America, where some of the team have been coming for years. It is a great sports city. They're very, very um, humble uh, people and fans. Uh, no, they're they're pretty uh, they're pretty crazy, and the atmosphere always coming to Philly and, and a few other kind of cities here in the East. Are, it's awesome. It really kind of gets the team going. I think it's our second uh, road trip this year. It's great, you know, traveling with the guys. I'm turning dreams into reality in the lab with the formula and chemistry. Steph LeBlanc, Kyle Jackson, and Aaron Bold are the first to arrive in the city of brotherly love. The trio treat themselves to a nice Mediterranean dinner. The three have bonded a little extra this season after sharing similar travel schedules. You, you spend the, the nights in the hotel and then you fly out in the morning together um, or at least go to the airport together and fly home. That's the, the cool thing about this league is, you know, there's the team atmosphere, but then you do have your, your groups that, you know, you bond a little bit more with just because you're, you're with them a little bit more often, um, you know, outside of lacrosse. So you get to know them personally and, and what great people they are. For a few other Thunderbirds, the meal's not as classy. But did you really visit Philly if you didn't get a cheesesteak? Clark Peterson, Chris Bucci, and Colton Armstrong try the famous Geno's and Pat's cheesesteaks in South Philly for the first time. Take your girlfriend out for a nice date. This would be a cheesesteaks. <laughs> Clark is a smart man. I wouldn't really bet against him. Never bet against CB24. The three are joined by Cody Jamison, Warren Hill, and Connor Watson, who helped to try to settle the Geno's versus Pat's debate. It's three votes, Genos. That's three. Pats, yeah. Pats. Pats. Pats are dying. It has to be Pats. The, the bread was a little better, in my opinion. Some guys had something to say about the Pats bread. They said Genos was a little more full. I like, I like a bit of the sloppy sub feel. I'm not a big cheese whiz guy, but um, I think that if I were to choose between the, the cheese whiz at uh, Genos or Pats, um, it would be Pat's, therefore, the overpowering nature of, uh, of the cheese part of the cheesesteak. It's got to be good cheese. Three votes Pat's. We have war, war on the side. Netminder Warren Hill gets the final say. Do you need another drink? Yeah, here you go. Sink with Pat's. No one tells you guys are sucking up. Yeah. Oh, you can tell from the first bite. Yeah. Pat's came out. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is a process, guys. I don't know what you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Warren, you're showing them. Hey, we got a verdict. Yeah! yeah! No! If Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives is looking for new hosts, give the Thunderbirds a call. What is it? <laughs> Dive <laughs> I keep wanting to say, is it divers, drive-ins, and dives? Diners, drive-ins, and dives. There you go. <laughs> eh, maybe not. You're watching Thunderbirds 360. Kangaroo Court is in session, a tradition that has lived on with this organization for a number of years. I think it, it started before uh, I, I got drafted. I think Chris Schiller was uh, one of the originals, and then Jordan Hall, uh, when he was with Rochester, uh, kind of kept it going. You can find guys for anything, you know, being late for the bus. Uh, you know, some guys miss practice due to work and stuff. What'd you get fined for? <laughs> I think a lot of teams do it, right? I think that kind of starts in junior and... The rules are whatever we make up the rules to be. That's the rules. Wizzies are like judge, lawyer, executioner, all the above. You know, having Wiz as a judge, sometimes he's, he's a little too much, but... Uh, That's making up the rules. Car accident, <laughs> There's a, a jury. Um, if you fight it and you lose, you know, it's a fair trial, but if you lose, you got to pay uh, double. Uh, Clarky, he's, he's our secretary, treasurer, taking, uh, taking down all the fines. We better actually go back and check that. Even though he has a Cornell degree, I, 
I question, uh, I question where that money's going sometimes. I think it's really just a good team bonding event. It's always fun finding some guys and the rookies get it the worst. Who just rubbed rock, Rocky Balboa fight and Rocky Q? Oh, nice. Come on, Terry. Oh, Terry, you know this. Oh, this is like five of them, man. <laughs> You're from Philly. <laughs> Terry gets this one wrong, it's double. Warren likes to do little uh, trivia games and you know little player highlights and you know gets the rookies on the spot and get to know your teammates a little bit. Today, Luke Mango Magnin is the player featured in the player highlight quiz. What pick was Mango drafted? What number? What number? Yeah, I guess uh, I know some teammates who know me well and 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 some that don't. Some of the rookies and, and uh, Terry's not. Hasn't been around much, but uh, yeah, I guess him and I gotta gotta bond a little bit more. Trev, what you pick? Uh, mangoes. Clarky. <laughs> mangoes. Tonight in Philadelphia, the six and one Thunderbirds travel south to take on the five and five wings. With the fun out of the way, it's time to get to business. The Thunderbirds arrive at the Wells Fargo Center before game time. Tonight, the team will look to make it four wins in a row as they take on the Philadelphia Wings, who gave them a great run just a couple of weeks prior. Before ball drop, Mr. FaceTime, Captain Cody Jamison, takes care of a pregame ritual. Mr. FaceTime? Yeah, I do gotta FaceTime my wife and kids soon. What's up? You got McDonald's, what the heck? You guys are on uh, uh, Thunderbirds 360, by the way. Tice always calls me Mr. FaceTime, right? And I said, yeah, I gotta FaceTime my family before every game. Oh, of course, now you get some FaceTime. <laughs> After not dressing for his team's last three games, Nungo Thompson draws back into the lineup. More moves come as defender James Barclay is moved to the active roster, but will not dress for the night's game. Netminder Warren Hill enters the game in the league's top five in wins, save percentage, and goals against average. Sitting second in the East, the Thunderbirds are hungry for a win to keep pace with the league and division leading Buffalo Bandits. Stay out the penalty box. That's the only way they got a chance here tonight. Oh guys, invest in the ball. Everybody can contributes here tonight. Right? Everybody can grab onto that rope and we all can pull in the same direction. Discipline, can effort, and trust. Let's, Let's go, boys. As a unit, baby. Thunderbirds 360 as a unit. That's how we can dominate this team, all right, boy? Effort on three. One, two, three. Effort. Effort. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. The clock ticks and game time draws near. The Thunderbirds prepare to play in front of a hostile crowd, one of the biggest they've seen all season in enemy territory. A hot start is crucial. No f***ing lag, no f***ing letdown. Right, right from the f***ing opening whistle to the last f***ing whistle, we do everything right tonight. Right, Everything right tonight. Shift in, shift out, everything. Here we go, first up three, one, two, three. Fire. After the team's leading point getter Peterson gets the team on the board, one of the team's most consistent players this season keeps the match lit. It doesn't really happen to me that often because I'm not a super speedy guy, but the uh, past couple games, Shanks and, and Clarkie have both just you know looked up, dropped their head and just taken underneath. I thought I saw my D guy look away for a second. I was like, it's my, it's my turn. You get these logs in the air and they, uh, they flew high tonight. Thunderbirds don't stop there. The right side continues to bring the hot hand. You know, I was just trying to cut through the middle and uh, bang bodies and just get open. But uh, we got a, such a deep offense that the, the ball was moving and uh, they've been falling for me lately. So hopefully I can continue. 
but the team lets the wings back in it, allowing three in a row after Kyle Matisse gets his team on the board first. Well, I think we like to uh, keep it interesting. It's uh, obviously it's not not easy watching. It's one of those games. Uh, lacrosse is a game of runs, right? I think you want to step on the neck when when you can and, and create some separation. But um, when you have a goalie like Warren Hill that shuts the door, the Thunderbirds take the six to three lead into half. KJ, on that last one, I kind of did see your guy leave for the flip. And as I turned around, they were just, I just couldn't. I need, I need to pop further for it to work. Yeah. But I, could, I didn't trust myself doing hey, that to you. So Reardon and uh, Smallsy so have they gotten can, a few like gap shots. Yeah, they're quick releases too. Yeah. They're good at that. I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna go on runs, game of runs, right? Like yeah. they went on theirs, we okay. went on ours. Yeah. We can be f***ing better, right? Defensively, great f***ing job. Get on hands, stay on the box, right? Oh guys, we're a unit. We all can work for each other. So everybody can set and picks. Everybody's can carting hard to the to the net. Everybody's can burying their chances. We all can do that, boys. We go home can happy. Let's go. Nungo Thompson makes the most of his opportunity and gets things going for the team in the third. Mentally, it was just challenging, and then I had to just, you know, just grind it out and just keep working at practice, keep trying. But then when I got my shot back, I, you know, made sure the coaches are going to make a tough decision and trying to take me out again. But now it's late in the game. The Wings have started to mount the comeback. A goal from Ben McIntosh has put Philadelphia within two. And we've got a ball game here. Two and a half left here in the fourth quarter. 10 to 8 our score. Shortly after, Wings continue to pressure. Corey Small would pick up a rebound. Hill appears to make the save, but does it cross the line? Wings think it's in. And now we've got a whistle and we're going to have to have a discussion here. The officiators head upstairs and everyone in the Wells Fargo Center waits. The Thunderbirds must be on guard to defend the lead in the event it's called a goal. No goal. Thunderbirds go on to win by a 10 to eight final. When we're swinging the ball and everybody's working and picking to get each other open, you know, we're hard to beat. You know, we fought as a team and we, we, didn't, we didn't give up. I think we have the ability to be um, you know, the undeniable best team in the league. It's just, you know, one game at a time, one quarter at a time. But this game, you know, it proved a lot to us. We separated ourselves, I think, tonight. I don't think we need to say much from Warren Hill. G sticks, round two! If you make a mistake, he's there to back you up. And there's not too many goalies like that in this league who can stop the ball like him. And I think it's the best feeling in the world to have a goalie like that. Stuck to our principles, right? We scored good goals. We were getting inside, we were working hard. Defense, again, another outstanding job uh, in the back end. Offensive ball, I knew it was just a matter of time. Stephen Keel came to play. Big win. We still haven't played. A, big win. We still haven't played a full 60 minutes, but we got to keep getting better each week. Let's get bombed! Next up for Halifax is the Vancouver Warriors former team of backup netminder Aaron Bold. It's great because I, I think, you know, uh, Halifax is now up to 5,000, right? So we're going to get a little bit more louder there in the nest. Definitely that's going to be, uh, you know, that circled on the calendar and I really want to, um, I really want to beat them, <laughs> to say the least. Any player, you know, is getting traded, got traded, released, or whichever, um, they always kind of have that little chip on their shoulder that they, they want to prove that they can still play and, and they want to beat their, uh, their old team. The Thunderbirds return home to look for their fifth straight win.